Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel for another Real Talk. So, I want to touch base a little bit with how I personally deal with stress and stressful situations or just, you know, like everyday stress. It doesn't have to be online, like any kind of stress. Um, first of all, uh, this is only how I do it. This isn't how everyone does it, but you could always try these if you don't already or if you're just looking for new methods to help yourself deal with stress. I love bubble baths. I don't like those um, bath bombs though, like a real bubble bath is what I like. Um, I use those sometimes. I also, uh, there's, um, there's this thing called Stress Relief Body Wash from Bath and Body Works. It's amazing. I use that whenever I start to get a little stressed out or even like when my back or neck hurt. I notice that like for some reason it just helps it. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a funny one. Okay. I make sims sometimes of people that are aggravating me and I kill them off. I really haven't done that so much though in the past like year or so, year, yeah, probably like a little over a year. Um, but back in high school, I hated this one principal. So I used to do that a lot with her because she always, she had like an out for me. So I always did that with her and like, you know, it's just, it's like, cause you know, it's illegal to do in real life, right? So do it in The Sims that way, you know, and then always name them sli slightly something different just so that way, you know, or, or don't, you know, whatever, whatever you want. Anyways, um, so another way that I deal with stress is I actually don't turn my phone on. I don't read anything on the internet, especially if it has something to do with like online stuff or whatever, or just like people and whatnot. I won't. I won't turn my phone on for anywhere from 3 to 12 hours. If it gets to the point where I need to leave my phone off for 24 hours, usually I will um, like notify a few people that I'm going to be gone for possibly 24 hours or more, um, just so they know that I'm, you know, still still around. Just just need a break, basically. Um, Okay, so another thing that I do, and I love doing this, if you are old enough to do this and you have a car or have access to it, it's great to just go on a drive. Um, don't do it if your mind really isn't in like the right state, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? But like, if you need to go on a drive just to like kind of think about stuff and just like de-stress, it's, it's usually pretty, pretty nice and calming, especially if it's like evening or night and like you can have like your sunroof or your windows down. Um, that's always beautiful. Um, yeah, I just, I love driving with my windows down and just thinking about some stuff and de-stressing. It's amazing. And lastly the last thing that I do on a regular basis when I'm stressed is I read or I write and then I also draw or color um I kind of group those together because they're kind of I don't know they're not the same but they are um reading is obviously reading coloring or drawing like I color the stuff that I draw or I just color where I just draw, you know. I'm not a good drawer though. Um, I don't try to be. It's just, it's literally just to alleviate the stress that I might be going through and whatnot. Um, and like I said, I also, um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, I also write. Um, sometimes I'll write like, on like my blog or I'll write my book that I'm working on or 
I physically sit down and write. And usually when I physically sit down and write, it's usually a letter to someone that has really pissed me off or that I'm upset with or sad about something or whatever. And then I, after I'm done with it, I like literally will write down anything and everything in it. And then once I'm done with it, I take it down to the shredder and I shred it because it's literally just to make myself feel better. It would never get seen by these people or whatever. So that's something that I've actually learned from my grandma um, back when I was an early teenager. It actually really helps a lot. So that's just some ways that I deal with stress. So you guys can go ahead and try them if you need to. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.